What is up everybody? My name is Jacob and this is the default scene. Today we're going to be going over how to create this text reveal effect using the Blender VSE. If you want to download the clip that I'm using in this tutorial, go ahead and check the link in the description down below. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is of course open up Blender and import your footage. I went ahead and just scrubbed through the footage until I found the clip that I wanted. Once I did that, I went ahead and set my scene frame. The next thing to do is to go ahead and create a motion tracking workspace. I went ahead and closed off the top two windows since I never use those. And I loaded up my clip again in the motion tracking workspace. I really wish that if I loaded up a clip in the VSC, it would translate to also being loaded up in the motion tracker, but unfortunately that hasn't been implemented yet. Nice thing though is that a proxy created in the VSC can also be used by the motion tracker. So I went ahead and turned on use proxy and changed the proxy setting to 100%. And now that your footage is all the way loaded up, go ahead and track your actor. This will make masking so much easier. I just went ahead and tracked the ear of the little girl in this scene. After tracking the subject, I went ahead and moved over into the motion tracker's masking workspace. Next, go ahead and create a mask. I went to the spot where the girl first fully entered the scene and I'm just going to create a mask behind her. I'm being very specific to have three of the four points of the square that is my mask outside of the bounds of my shot. Then I'll go ahead and grab only the points of my mask that I want to move. Finally, I'll shift select my tracker and hit control P in order to parent those points to the tracker. Once my mask points are parented to my tracker, it's just a simple process to go back through and refine the mask a little bit. Make sure that you turn on auto keyframes so that you don't have to keep hitting I to add keyframes every time you move a mask point. With my mask created, I'm going to go ahead and create a layout workspace in order to create some text animation. In this case, I chose the phrase, the holidays are coming because this shot looks like a Christmas shot. I'm not going to go over how to do this because there's plenty of tutorials on animating text. If you want me to create a tutorial on how to do this animation, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I went ahead and rendered out my text as a PNG sequence making sure to select RGBA so that I could have a transparent background. Finally, I head back into my VSC and go ahead and import my text animation. I'm gonna place that above my shot and then with my text animation selected, I'll go over into the properties panel of that strip and down into the modifiers tab. I'll add a mask modifier, make sure that I select mask as the input type and then select the mask that I created. Now, if I scroll through my shot, you can see that the text comes in as the girl walks through the shot. Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful to you, and I also hope that you're having a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.